Hey, how you doing? Uh, we have to do the um, exercise in health um, behavior assessment. And for my client, um, I did the cognitive behavior strategy. And basically, first I did the um, enchanting self-efficacy. And my client loves celebrities and she likes to compare herself to celebrities and says, sometimes I want to be like this celebrity. So with that, um, when she's almost giving up, I always tell her like, oh, hey, like this celebrity probably didn't give up. So, or probably they did this and this. So you should continue doing it. Or the body shape that you want, this celebrity got it like this and this. Um, uh, the next thing is goal setting. Obviously, you can't give somebody uh, like 10 goals or um, 10 goals, you have to do this, you have to do this. And secondly, you can also give somebody how many pounds they have to lose. So with that, um, I told my client that she always has to lose around like one to two, one to two pounds, mostly one pound. So I don't put stress on her and she can do the exercises right. So she doesn't like relapse. The second one is reinforcement. Every Sunday and Friday, I decided that she's going to get a fat free ice cream either from Cold Stone, either from Jet Pelix, either from um, any ice cream place that she wants. And also she can get a fast food of her choice, um, depending on how she's done during the week. And that actually really, 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 really does motivate her. With social support, um, I, I told her she can get one family member from or a close friend. And um, in every two days, they have to run with her or walk with her or do some exercises with her so she can feel that she's she's being supported by her loved ones. The next one is self-monitoring. So self-monitoring is basically, I told her the Nike app, that if, if you guys know the Nike app, it has this thing, uh, trainers training you, not even training you, but someone tells you to go running. So sometimes when I'm away from, for, for my military training, I tell her to do the Nike app to do one mile and show me and how many calories she's lost. And also I tell her there's an app that I tell her to upload for the food and she updates all her calories so she can know what she's eating. Cause sometimes we can be um, eating more, but we're working out less. And then we, we start to gain weight. And yet at the end of the day, we only ran half a mile, but then we eat like a bowl of rice, a bowl of chicken. So I told her, give me the Nike app, show me how many miles you've, you've, you've ran. And also it shows you, how many minutes and how many colors that you've lost in just that one run. So that's the how she's doing herself monitoring. The next thing is problem solving. So um, there's this thing where sometimes she just doesn't feel like doing exercise. She, she wakes up, she's like, you know, I'm not going to do it. But those are the days. So with problem solving, it's hard. The days that you don't want to do exercise are the days you, you should actually do exercises because those are the days that you'll be like you know what i didn't give up that day or even you don't even have to like run a mile she, she can do she doesn't even have to run a mile she can do like two sit-ups she can do like um um uh f like five push-ups or even like knee push-ups and everything or she can even just run like for like two minutes back and forth it's it's fine but as long as she's done an exercise um in the day that she do exercise instead of giving up the last thing is relapse prevention I have a lot to say about this. Relapse prevention, I explained it to her because she, she was doing it. She was she likes junk food, so she was quitting junk food every single time. And with that, it caused her to relapse every time. So she's like, you know what, I'm quitting junk food. I'm just going to eat salad. I'm just going to eat healthy. I'm just going to go on keto diet. And she was missing the food. So once she eats that junk food, that's just the one junk food, she kind of relapses back and gains all her weight back. And it's really hard. And even the um the exercises... Uh, my client was telling me she does a mile or two or whatever. She, or can she do a mile or two in the beginning? I told her, no, I think you should start with half a mile. And with that half a mile, or you should run like for 10 minutes and then you build up. Because the building up, it actually also starts to um, tell your system that, oh, I'm going to run. Even with the eating, it starts to tell your system, I'm going to stop eating junk food. Now I'm eating healthy food. So you don't relapse in the end. So that's my cognitive behavior strategy and um that's how the synthesis of my client's health behavior assessment design exercise program is gonna go thank you